in this video i will show you how to adjust the size of a board in multi board and how to set the size of the grid in multi board so uh, when you tra transfer your design from multi sim to multi board you see a window like this so you have a large board here and you have some components here so uh, this yellow rectangle this is the size of your board and uh, if you view it in 3d design uh, you can see this board in 3D and you, you must also notice that the components are outside the board right now. So if you view the 3D layout of this board, you can see that there is a rectangular board and there are two components which are uh, outside the board. So we will adjust the size of this board and I will show you how to adjust the size of this uh, grid as well. <coughs> so the first thing you have to do to adjust the size of the board is to come to the board outline layer. So uh, you have to double click this layer like, like this and uh, this will be highlighted in red color then you know that uh, you have selected the board outline layer. And you must have this button on. This is the enable selecting other object. This must be on like this. So uh, when you are in the board outline layer and you have turned this button on, you should be able to select the board outline like this and if you select the board outline you can set its size uh, like this and uh, alternately if you want to set exact size you can also take the help of uh, the design wizard and if you double click this rectangle you should be able to set its size uh, from here so if you want a width of uh, three inches sorry uh, yeah three inches so you have to set the size to 3000 mils and uh, if you want to set the height to four mil uh, four inches then you will have to set this height to 4000 mils so right as you uh, select the apply option then it will set the size of the board like you have set from here so this will adjust the size of the board and uh, you can see from here, from the 3D view, that the board has now changed, and this is uh, a 3 inches by 4 inches board now. And uh, when you have to work with the uh, with the project, then you have to set the size of the grid which you want to use for your components. For example, if you move the components, they will move over the grid, and all the time, you the com the components, the pins uh, will be aligned to the grid uh, as you have set it. So uh, the method to set the size of the grid is that you go to the options, then PCB properties, and uh, a new window will open and it will have a lot of tabs like this. So you go to the grid and units tab, and uh, you set the grid type to standard grid, and uh, you can set the uh, visible grid style uh, to the line grid, uh, sorry, dot grid or line grid like this or uh, cross grid like this. In my opinion, the dot grid is uh, the most convenient one and uh, I mostly use this kind of grid. So the visible, uh, you can set the size of the visible grid from here and uh, uh, 50 mils is a good size for common applications. So you set this size to 50 mils and uh, there are four other types of grids here. So the first one is part grid, you should set it to 50 and the second grid is copper grid. You can also set it to any value you like and uh, uh, I recommend using 50 mils for uh, common type of boards. Then you can have the wire grid, then you can also have the SMD grid. Uh, assembly grid can be a little small but i think uh, 5 mil or 10 mil would be a good uh, value for the assembly grid so when you press the apply button the, all the values of the grids are saved and uh, now you have correctly set the size of the grid and uh, the size of the board as well 